everybody. Let's give this problem a try. So we're trying to find the power here. So what I find helpful is you can draw the circuit however you want. So I'm going to draw a bunch of the resistors vertically just so I think it's easier to see and easier to explain. Okay, so this is... Uh, let me label these. So let's say if I call this node A, that's right here. And then if I call this node B, that's here. And I'll call this C, which is here. And I'll call this D, which is oh, this entire bottom, actually, right? But just here. Okay. And I didn't. Right, let me label the resistor. So 15k, 5k, 25, 5, and 3. Okay. So if you were to take a voltmeter here and measure the voltage from here to here, right? The voltage from A to D. Notice that if you follow this branch here, it's whatever that voltage is, which is the same as if you went oh, down this branch over here. Right? So in other words, the total voltage from A to D over here is the same as the voltage here. Right? It doesn't matter that this resistor is here. We're just talking about voltage. Okay. And then you could go like KVL and kind of go like this loop this way or this loop over here. Again, we're going through these two resistors or these two resistors. And already I'm looking at it. It looks like a voltage divider, right? So let's use the voltage divider equation for here. So from right here to here is the voltage from A to D. So what is the voltage here from A to B? It's the voltage from A to D, but divided, right? So it's 15 over 15 plus 3. 15 over 18. How about over here? From B to D. It is, from here to here, divided 3 over 15 plus 3. Right, so this is, like, this is one-sixth of it, and this is five-sixths. Okay, now how about this side? So the voltage from A to D, right, is the same. But how about just right here? The voltage from A to C is A to D divided, which is 25 over 25 plus 5. 25 over... 25 plus 5. How about the voltage here from C to D? Is from A to D divided 5 over 25 plus 5. Okay, and then, right, this is 1 over 6, this is 1 over 6, 5 over 6, 5 over 6. In other words, the voltage here is the same as the voltage here. The voltage here is the same as the voltage here. So like if you were to put a like a, a block here and a block here. And then let's say I put another block over here and another block over here. Then I like a, put a board over here and a board over here. And then a ball. Right? The ball's gonna roll this way because there is Right, the kinetic energy is going to go this direction because this side has more gravitational potential energy than this side. That's the way kinetic energy goes. It goes from the higher potential energy to the lower. 
if I put them all here, kinetic energy, right, it's going to go this way because the potential energy, gravitational potential energy, is higher here than it is here. Analogously with a circuit, if the it's like saying if the voltage is higher here, like electric potential, than here, then current will flow from the higher potential to the lower potential. Right? If the electric potential is higher here and lower here, current will flow this way. In this example, it's like we're saying this is a block and this is a block, and they're the same height. So if I put like a board over here, which way is the ball going to go? Nowhere. Same electric potential. So these have the same voltage. So there's no current flowing through this resistor at all. No current. So if there's no current, what's the voltage? Or I should say... The voltage here equals the voltage here, which means across this is zero. And if this is zero and this is 5k, that's got to be zero. So another way to explain, there's no current here. Which means it's like you can just get rid of it. And now look at this circuit. Easier to analyze, right? You can just combine... I'll just redraw it. You can combine these two in series, so that's uh, 18k. Combine these two in series, that's 30k. Right, and then these two in parallel, just combine those two in parallel. And then that in series with this, and then you have basically the equivalent resistance of the entire circuit, which means you will know this current, which is the same as this current, the same as this current, right? This current like this coming out of the source. And then look, it's a current divider. So then you would do the current divider equation, which will look like Let's say I call this I1, I2. So I1 will be IS, the source, which you know, you just solved it, divided. And it's going to be, for I1, 30 over 30 plus 18. If you want I2, it's IS divided, and so for I2, it's 18 over 30 plus 18. So then you would know the current here, which is right, the same for both the 15K and the 3K resistor, which means you know the current for the 3K resistor, and if you know the current, the power is I squared R. Okay. And while we're at it, let me just point out one more thing. You could, if you wanted to, do one of those delta to Y transformations. That will work also. So for example, you see this node here and here and here. That looks like a delta. So I can replace the delta with a y, like this. Okay, right, see this delta turns into this y. And then now let me draw the rest of the circuit. Okay, All right, so with the delta to y transformation, we turn this into this. This is still 750, this is still 3k, this is still 5k, but these three will change 
and then you just use the delta to y formulas. But now look at the geometry here. Again, it looks just like what we did here, right? You can combine these in series, like this. Combine these in series, like this. Oh, I missed one over here. Okay. And then, right, these are also in series. Combine these in parallel, and then you know the equivalent resistance of the entire thing, and it's the same strategy. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Keep on studying, and I'll see you on the next video.